Hey everybody, I'm Flying Scorpion, and here's a quick and dirty guide on how to import uh, data from the EVE Online market directly into Google Sheets using the API, uh, using a tool called Guessy. So we're going to start by getting Guessy, and you would do that by going to Add-ons, Get Add-ons, Hold on a moment here for this to load. And then we're going to search for Guessy. <clears throat> you go ahead and you install that. After you've installed it, go to Extensions, Guessy, Authorize Character. <coughs> uh, I'm going to just do this on the second monitor. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry about that. That's going to keep, I'm going to keep popping throughout the video because I got to back off for permanent. Anyway. Um, all right, so there you go. Then it's going to say thank you for using Guessy. You may close this window. So we'll go back to our spreadsheet. We got a brand new spreadsheet, and uh, by default, Guessy has this wonderful ability to just um, what is it? Orders? Yeah, to pull up your mark, your character's orders, and then we need to tell it which character we're using because you have three characters per account. Uh, and we're going to use the currently active character, character one. That's our our primary character that we're logging into. And there we go. So it pulls up all kinds of information. You can use this data however you want. I'm going to point out just a few things here. The type ID is the ID number of the item itself. The region ID for this one, it's Metropolis. And then the location ID is the station or the structure. Uh, and we're going to use that information now. Uh, now, we need to add a custom function to Guessy, one that isn't in there by default. So if you go to the Guessy GitHub page, I'll leave a link in the description. <clears throat> We've finished the setups. It's been done. That was very quick and easy. Now we're going to do a little bit of script editing. <clears throat> Before we can do the script editing. We need to add the this library. And uh, we're going to go, which one, is this the one I'm working on? Yeah, right here. We're going to go to extensions. We're going to go to app script. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and we're going to add that library. We're going to look that library up. Here it is, version 48 Guessy. We're going to add the library. And now it's done. Now I went to the Guessy Discord and I asked the developer, Black Smoke, who's thankfully very helpful and was very quick and responsive. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, he said, go to the pinned messages on the channel and he's got uh, a custom function right here ready for people to copy and paste. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm going to just delete everything that's here. I'm going to paste in the function that he uh, provided to me and to everyone else in the Discord. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And now we're adding this new function called type price data. And you give the type ID, the location ID, and the region ID. So now if we type in, oop, I'm getting a little bit of lag here, aren't I? Did I, uh, did I save this? Yeah, I did. All right, equal sign, type price data. And the item that we will use it on, actually I'm gonna go down a column, down a row, type price data. We're gonna go with uh, the second row. This is the, the number for the item. I think this is bacteria or something, I don't know, something like that. Uh, and then we're gonna go with the um, the station, if I recall correctly, which is this one. And then we're going to go with the region ID, which is this one right here. And you can manually type those numbers in yourself, or you can just reference it like that. And we hit enter. It's going to take a moment to load. And there we go. So this is the minimum sell and the maximum buy price for that item. And uh, I, I think it's on this row right here. I, um, I'm currently buying the item it's a buy order and I'm buying it for 350 isk 
and without even having to log into the game, I can check at a quick glance right here and see that somebody has outbid me by 25 ISK. Pretty helpful, right? Now let's say you don't want, this takes up four cells, right? And if we want to duplicate this across down here, it's not going to, I don't know if it's going to match up very well. So I'll show you a way to change that. You can just go back to your function and delete this part right here, min cell max buy, and then save it. And then when we go back, it takes a little bit of a moment to process it, but there you go. Now it's just the raw numbers. And so we can just actually drag and drop it like that. And I can quickly get all of the buy and sell orders for the, the different items that I'm buying and selling. And you can see here, nobody is selling this item, whatever this item is. Maybe I'll show you in a moment actually how to, how to get that. Um, <clears throat> Now let's say you don't want it to, to stack horizontally, but you'd rather stack it vertically. We'll go back and we'll delete these brackets on the outside there. Hit save. <coughs> Pardon me, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> and now it's stacking them vertically. And you can even go further than that. You could completely separate this function into two separate functions. One that gives you the cell and one that gives you the buy. Now that's a little bit too complicated for me. I'm just telling you that you can do this. And you know what? You probably already can figure that out for yourself. You know you can. I think, honestly, I think this is enough to get you started. Um, the whole reason I made this video is because I was hope I wished that there was a quick and easy YouTube tutorial video on how to do this. And it took me a lot of banging my head against the wall and eventually getting help from the from this from black smoke so thank you black smoke smoke thanks everybody for watching if this video was helpful for you please leave it a like uh say thanks in the comments um if you have any questions uh don't ask me i don't i really don't know uh you're probably better off going to the discord um if you have uh questions okay uh this should help you get started and uh Goodbye.